Italians opted for experience over youth in Sunday's vote, choosing the 61-year-old political veteran and former cabinet minister Pierluigi Bersani as the new leader of the center-left Democratic Party. And if the polls remain the same, Bersani looks set to mount a convincing run for the premiership in the general election set for next spring. Sunday's result was a disappointment for the other contender, the 37-year-old mayor of Florence, Matteo Renzi. He had run an energetic and youthful campaign with the Barack Obama-inspired slogan, Let's change Italy now. But in the end, the electorate opted for Bersani, who could boast decades of political experience and a so-called safe pair of hands. The left-leaning Democratic Party is well ahead in the polls after Silvio Berlusconi plunged his right-wing party into utter chaos as he flip-flopped and backtracked on his political plans. In recent weeks, Berlusconi had said he was thinking about running again, changing his mind, then threatening to bring down the present government of Mario Monti. It's thrown his People of Freedom Party into disarray, disrupted its plans for the primary, while bolstering the Democratic Party's image of order and stability. Italy certainly badly needs new faces, fresh faces, I would say. But I think that between Renzi and Bersani, the big problem is also experience. So I think that Italy needs to be ruled by very expert people. If general elections were held now, opinion polls show that Bersani would lead his party to victory, a turnaround for the Democratic Party that had failed to capitalize on Berlusconi's personal scandals while Premier. The elections will be held in the spring and will determine whether Italy continues on the path of financial stability charted by Prime Minister Mario Monti, appointed last year to save Italy from a Greek-style debt crisis. Claudio Lavanga, Al Jazeera, Rome.